everyone, this is Miss Abby from the Attleboro Arts Museum, and I'm here today to bring a little sunshine to all of you. Um, we're going to be um, creating a mixed media birds on a wire art project today. And these adorable birds are made out of all household items, hopefully things that you have in your home right now. All right, so we are going to start with our piece of cardboard. Now you can use any old cardboard box for this. And what I've done is just simply sliced it into a long rectangle. Um, because we are doing birds on a wire, I wanted to have that nice long horizontal line that we can work with. Uh, now the first thing we're gonna do is start with our background and we are going to use our household sponges. Let's start with a little bit of orange. And now what I'm doing is I'm just gonna dip into my container, get a little bit of paint on there and start smushing that paint onto my cardboard. And when I see that my sponge is a little dry, I can add more. Now I want to cover most of my cardboard and I think I want to switch up now to some gold. Now, what I wanna do, I've got um, most of my cardboard covered here, but it's a little splotchy and I wanna add some um, smoothing to that color. So I'm gonna take a paper towel and I'm simply gonna use a round motion with my hand and I'm going to just gently blend. I'm not pressing too hard because I don't wanna wipe all my paint off, but see how I'm getting a nice blend with my paper towel? Okay, so now that we have a nice um, smooth background and we have some gradation of color, I think I need a little something else. So I'm going to use my toothbrush um, and I'm gonna create some splatter. Now I wanna use a different color than what's on here. So I think I'm gonna use my blue. I'm going to dip the tip of my toothbrush in my paint. I wanna get it all in the bristle and then I'm gonna simply flick Now I have my splatter and I have a nice uh, blue on top of that orange and white background, which is pretty exciting and giving my birds that will eventually live here a really cool place to live. So I'm going to take my Q-tip and I'm going to dab it into the paint and then I'm going to simply um, maybe not quite halfway across, but a little lower than that, drag my Q-tip across. I have my wire ready to go, and notice how I didn't put it directly in the center. We want to leave a little bit of room for our birds to live on that wire. Now, um, if you've just splattered your background and put your wire on, we probably want to let this paint dry for a little bit of time uh, before we add our birds. This would be a perfect time for you to cut out some eyeball shapes for your birds, which are a simple circle. Notice this is not a perfect circle and that's okay. I chose um, some text from a magazine that had a white background because I really want those eyeballs to pop. And then you may also want to cut some beaks. Now my beak is simply a triangle, just a, just a triangle shape. It can be any sort of triangle really um, and any color that you want. So I have some pinks in here. I have some greens. I also have um, some food items um, that I picked out and just cut up some uh, beaks so I have them ready. Okay, now it's time to create our bird bodies. Now I'm allowing myself to put a little extra paint on here because we're going to use a fun technique using a plastic fork. Now I think our birds need a little bit of texture, don't you? And the great way to get texture is by using those tongs of the fork and dragging it through the paint. So let's start with my pink bird. I'm going to drag some out on the edge so that I get that sort of fuzzy chick feel. And then I'm going to scrape it through the center as well. Mm -hmm. 
So now our birds have some beautiful texture. starting to see little birdies on a wire, right? We're halfway there. So the next step we want to do is we're going to use another Q-tip and we want to give our birds some little feet because they need to be holding on to that wire somehow. And I'm going to give three little toes um, on each side for my birds. So one, two, three, one, two, three. That's one set of bird feet. And then we have to do that again. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Let's give our birds a few minutes to dry. Now that our little birdies have had a chance to dry, we're going to add our collage component. So now my birds have eyes and they have beaks, but they're missing one final detail and that's their pupil, that black dot in their eye that's going to give them life. So again, I'm getting um, a nice amount of paint on my Q-tip and then I want to think about which direction is my bird looking at. So this guy I think is looking directly at the audience so I'm gonna go ahead and give him two little dots like that. He's looking right out at you guys. But I think my pink bird might be dreaming and just sort of looking up to the sky and over in a different direction. And this guy on the end I think is a little jealous of what might be going on over here. So he's kind of peeking over. Hmm, what's going on over there? And there you have it, folks. Um, now the final thing we want to do as artists, and any of you that have taken an art class with me before know this, the final thing we do as artists is sign our work. Um, so go ahead and I'm going to put my initials, or you could put your full name on there, and go ahead and sign that work. I hope you all enjoyed our little mixed media birds on a wire art project today. Uh, thank you for joining us. We know it's tough times out there for everyone, so we hope we brought a little sunshine to your day.